Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we got a problem. A customer brought into me an HP Elite Desk 800 G5. And what's happened is somehow the Windows has become corrupted. But at the same time, they had put a BIOS password into the unit and they don't remember the BIOS password. So we're going to go through resetting the BIOS password on this machine. And then we're going to reinstall Windows. So stay tuned. We're going to get right into this. I'm going to get into this. The first thing I'm going to be doing okay, is removing the cover. So we're going to be removing the screw. So let's go right to it. So first thing, obviously, we're going to have to do is remove power and connections to it. And then remove the rear attachment screw which is in the back here and it's a thumb screw and you should be able to just loosen it and flip the unit over this is the simplest way i've seen people try to slide this and pull this get yourself a very fine screwdriver tip underneath here and then you'll be able to pull and separate the frame you see how it's sliding apart and once you've done that, separating the two is just, and just take your time. Don't be. And once you've slid it enough, you can just lift it. Now, what we're going to be going after here today are two things. One, right over here, there's a jumper. So you, you will lift up this fan and get it out of the way. And we're going to pull this jumper. And then after we've done that, we're going to go underneath here. We're going to remove the four screws that hold this assembly. We're going to pull out the drive and pull out and expose the battery underneath. And we'll go through that now. So let's now you're just gonna remove that cover, like I said, and then you'll expose the battery. Just remove the battery, put it aside carefully, then remove this jumper, which is located on the right hand side here, and put it aside. Once you've done that, I'm going to go in and reconnect power, reconnect your video. Turn on the machine, and while the machine is booting, press the reset button located here. You see it right here next to the USB connectors. Once you've done that, it's going to come up and say something like, it can't find the time, it, or the, everything that lost all the information. That is perfectly fine. Your next thing, of course, is to go in and reattach it. Reinstall the jumper. Reinstall the battery. Once you've done this, Turn the machine back on again, and again, same thing, I want you to hit that reset button right here. That's going to reset the BIOS, everything's going to go back. Once you've done this, the next step, of course, is to put the machine back together, put the cover on and all that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the escape key several times. That'll allow us to... Now, the last thing you'll do is once you've completed all those tasks, Reset the machine, unplug the power, replug the power, reset it several times. Just going to basically come back, and now you're going to basically start the machine up like you normally would. Except we're going to go into the BIOS. And the way we're going to do that, I started the machine. And we're going to keep hitting the escape key. And that will bring us to our startup menu. I don't know if you can see this well. Okay, let me go. There we go. Once you've done that, you're going to discover that now you don't have the issue anymore of getting into the BIOS. And the BIOS will be unlocked, and you'll be able to then go in and complete and do the complete project. From this point, you're going to go down here and select Boot Option. Now, one of the things you'll do next is you'll know it, go into the BIOS, and you go to Advanced. And over here, and you have what order it's going to boot from. And you want to change this. You want to make sure that USB 
is number one uh, enabled by hitting F5. Hey, thank you for watching. I hope this information has been helpful for you. Grandpa is always trying to give you some how to's and how to prepare things. Like I said, this client came in and he couldn't get into Windows. The BIOS was locked. And I, we had to help him unlock the BIOS and we have shown you how to do that. Basically, I'll review that real quick for you. Basically, you're going to take the cover off. You're going to take the fan assembly off. You're going to remove the jumper. You're going to, have, you're going to have to remove the hard drive assembly off. You're going to remove the battery. Plug the power back on. Press the reset button. The machine will boot up. Tell you it cannot find the time. It lost information. That is fantastic. Don't worry about that. To unplug the power, put the jumper back on, put the battery back in. It's a good time to change the battery at that time for a new battery if you have one available. Reput the machine back together again. Again, reboot the machine. Go back into the BIOS. Set factory defaults. After you've done that, set the boot order up. USB drive first, then your drive and the second drive. Now, if... When you want to boot from that drive, you're going to have to have a USB drive in there. Otherwise, it will, it will. And one of the problems you may have when you're doing that BIOS setup, if there's no USB drive plugged into the machine, the machine will not allow you to change it from uh, disabled to enabled. There has to be a drive in there to do that. Now, I hope this all this information has been helpful for you. Grandpa always wants to hear from you. Don't forget to give us a like, a share, and, and tell us. Was this information helpful? Were you able to reset your BIOS? Now, if you, after this, if this is still a problem with Windows, the machine will boot up, you'll be it, and it may have to do recovery and try to repair. At that point in time, you can put a USB drive, which has a Windows on it, and try to do a repair or a restore. I have a separate video on that, on how to install Windows. Check out my other videos. Check out my merch store. Don't forget that you can support the channel by buying a cup of coffee. Grandpa loves you. I always want to hear from you in the comments. Was this helpful? And until next time, this is your Grandpa Casey. You have a great day.